Greetings everybody, Stephen here and welcome back to the Command Center. So today on the channel we're going to have a look at the awesome Christmas catalog that came out from GW. I went past there today and got a little bit of the nerd bait going on and it's going to be good to have a look and see, you know, an in, have an in-depth analysis of, you know, what they're actually releasing this year in terms of box sets and everything like that if you haven't already had the opportunity to check things out in the... Um, in the store, okay? So we've seen a few things online, you know, people posting tiny little pictures of the Primaris boxes and things like that. Um, so hopefully in here we'll be able to have a better look and see exactly what's on offer. Now I dare say that there's gonna be a whole lot more coming. I think there's definitely gonna be a fair few more surprises rocking up at the end of the uh, year. But uh, this will give us a good idea of what's happening. And there's some pretty cool deals in here as well. So we're gonna go through that, okay? And um, over there uh, in the corner on the left hand side, we've got this awesome little Primaris notebook that I found at Games Workshop. It's pretty awesome. We're going to take a look at that. And the new painting cup that I picked up today from Games Workshop as well, and which I was very skeptical about, but you'd be surprised. It's actually pretty decent. And I'm going to show you a few things, a few little cool things about it. It's. Um, yeah, it actually serves a function this time. It's not just, you know, a plastic cup. There's a few little, well, it is just a plastic cup, okay? But there's actually a few little things in there that uh, that set it apart. And you can obviously see there's little grills there as well. Now, in the top corner there, we've got some, um, uh, we've got some aggressors I just finished up just recently. So we might have a little bit of a quick look at them. Um, I'm gonna be running a painting tutorial soon. So I've already got the stuff on order. We're gonna be doing some chaos. We'll be doing, we'll be painting up the uh, Black Legion, Black Legion Air from the Chaos Fortress box. And we'll, I'm also gonna be doing some Alpha Legion. I've got a bit of a surprise coming up for that one. So it's gonna be a good tutorial. And uh, these are some, uh, these are some aggressors I just finished up uh, a few days ago. So I thought I'd just chuck them on here and uh, put them up on the display. So it's, it's good to see some minis on the channel. Uh, it is meant to be a, you know, a miniature wargaming channel, a Warhammer channel. So you know, we should definitely be seeing some miniatures here, not just merchandise. And, uh, and it is coming, everybody. So, um, you know, but there's obviously, there are a lot of releases coming out for Games Workshop at the moment. And, you know, so there's a lot to cover. Now, in, re in regards to the tutorials, uh, we've had a few requests and people are saying, you know, they want, they what they want is they want assembly tutorials, they want painting tutorials, they want unboxings. And I'm perfectly down with that. It's... That's, that's awesome. Uh, but look, if you're watching this uh, and you're a subscriber or even if you're just a viewer and you have any suggestions, please, um, you know, leave us some comments down below. Just let me know, you know, what kind of content you want to see. All right. If you want, you know, if you want certain things painted up, okay. If you want tutorials on a certain thing, just let me know. And uh, even if you're, uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. All right. Just click the little red subscribe button down below and turn the little bell notification on. It really helps us out when you do that. All right, everybody look fantastic. So I'm going to see you in there and uh, all this coming up on Command Center Wargaming. So let's let's get into it and let's have a look and see what we can see. So I'm just going to move this awesome little book. I love this book. I haven't actually opened it yet. I've been waiting for the the reveal here on the channel. So I'm actually I can't wait to get into that uh, little book there. So I'm just going to go through and just move these guys out of the way as well. Excuse me, awesome. Okay. Out of the way. All right. So let's take a look at through the Christmas catalog first. All right, so this is the 2018 Games Workshop uh, Christmas catalog, which is pretty fantastic. And um, you can see here, one thing that they've done with it, the, the very first thing I want to bring to your attention is, I mean, like not only the amount of stuff that they're releasing this year, but also, also this here, which is really cool too. So if you can see here, they've actually got like USA, $130, Canada, hundred and then Australia, 220, New Zealand, 250, right? So they're actually, they're actually going through and putting um, multiple prices in there now. So instead of just having like, you know, different prices for different countries, different regions, they're just saying, all right, let's just, you know, sort of make it universal and just go through and, and um, list the prices uh, for all things. Now, starting for the first page, you can see here, 
we've basically got the, the front cover, the gift guide. All right, and uh, welcome to this year's Games Workshop Christmas gift guide. Over the next few pages, you will find a selection of awesome products that make fantastic hobby gifts. All right, there's all the countries there as well. Some of the artwork there as well like that. Okay, which is pretty cool. All right, so firstly, we've got our Sector Mechanicus. We've got some scenery going on, which are available, which is which is pretty awesome, because I mean, this year looks, uh, Games Workshop have really been pumping this uh, scenery, which I think is is really fantastic. Uh, never used to be like that, as we all know. It used to be that I think there was like a set of like five or six buildings or something, and you could, you know, it's like, take your pick of like, the factory, the factory with skulls on it, or the factory with pipes on it, or the factory with the skulls and pipes on it. So, <laughs> you know, but now it's really cool there. They're getting a lot more variety in actual architecture. And, you know, it started off with this kind of power plant thing at the start of the year, and now they're going on and doing all different kinds of things, segmental, segmented walls and all that. Um, no doubt because they realize they're going to have to compete with 3D printers and things like that. Uh, I actually have a very good 3D printer here. Later on down the track, I haven't actually installed it yet or even unboxed it. It's uh, it's just been sitting here because I've been very busy with work and everything. It's a very good one. It's a Raise 3D. And, um, and you know, I mean, eventually I'm, I'm going to plug it in and uh, we're going to start printing terrains and we're going to be catting them up as well. Uh, I actually started off in life as a CG artist working in the computer games and film industries. So I have a pretty good understanding of how to uh, sculpt things in the computer and bring them out into, you know, into the world. But anyway, look, that's just a bonus thing, really. Um, we'll be getting into that maybe over Christmas. So stay tuned for the channel for that. And then here we have a painting set. So these painting sets are really cool. Here you can have your, your core bundle here. Right, now, USA, 210 Canada, 250 Australia, $350, New Zealand, 413 Now, look, I'm not going to go through, I'm not going to start bitching about the Australian prices or the New Zealand prices. It is what it is. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's like, look, it sucks, but, you know, they're, they're still bringing it out here. All right, it could be worse. They could just say, well, look, we're not going to ship to Australia, you know, so, um, you know, this, this is what it is. You know, it's the same with Forge World. Like, even the US, you know, US have been clipped on Forge World a little bit as well. But it's kind of like, well, you know, if you can't afford to buy a Forge World, then maybe you shouldn't be buying Forge World. And, you know, like, I, I mean, I get that. I get that, you know, it should be more accessible to people. And, you know, I'm the first one to talk about GW's pricing models and, you know, and, and how they sort of do things. But, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, guys, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. You know, think about it this way. It's kind of like an investment, I guess. If, if the Games work, Workshop miniatures are always going up in value, then whatever you buy like five years ago, providing you don't like melt it and, you know, chock on the paint, you know, so it's thick as bricks, um, you know, you'll be able to sell for a little bit more later on because I've only ever known, you know, Games Workshop minis to go up in for a price, never down. So that's, you know, something to think about there as well. But anyway, look, we all, you know, we love the hobby. We support the hobby. I mean, the, the, their income's got to come from somewhere. Now, all the, all the different sprues and all the crazy awesome stuff they've been doing over the last year or two, I mean, you know, they've had to have fund that for somewhere. So, you know, you can obviously say, well, you know, all right, yeah, Forge World prices are pretty steep. Uh, but at the same time, you know, look at all the product they're giving us, you know. Uh, and believe me, I'm not a shill for, for Games Workshop at all. Okay, I just call it, you know, how it is. Uh, I, I give many things, Citadel and 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 uh, and, and Games Workshop, uh, less than savoury reviews. So, you know, uh, I'm pretty brutal on them uh, most of the time, to be honest. If anyone here has watched any of my other videos, just go have a look at the uh, video on the glue. And you'll see how brutal I am with their products. But anyway, and don't get me, don't even get me started on the uh, on the old uh, the the old airbrush that they attempted to release. Anyway, so yeah, so painting painting set here comes with like one of those little plastic box things. Um, yeah, okay. If you want to keep it in a plastic box like that, I um I just keep mine in these little plastic sleeves from the junk shop. Um, you probably see them in the background uh, of the command center there. I've literally got these like plastic sleeves going on. I should just pull it out now. And yes, guess what? Uh, 
all these all these sleeves are just full of paints. So this is, you know, this is just for my ultramarine and there's even more than that. So I've got one tray for ultramarines, all the different colors, all the different variants. I've got another another tray for some metallics. You know, um, you notice I've got I've I've got some uh, liquid gold there as well, but you know I've got stuff like P3, and I think we're going to be having a look at the uh, when we do the Chaos Marine. When we do the Chaos Marines, I'm going to be using a little bra bit of brass and some of this P3 old gold. It's fantastic gold that one. Um, you know I, I don't rate it as good in the um, as the liquid gold, Vallejo liquid gold, but the Vallejo liquid gold is a little bit uh, is a little bit uh, hard to apply at times. It's very circumstantial. Fantastic gold, my number one pick. Tastes like absolute crap, but anyway. Um, and yeah, so and then we got stuff like the you know, pigments and that. But anyway, look, so it's coming. It's coming, everybody. Just be patient. We're at, uh, you know, we're at 40 subscribers so far. So we've really gone up and thank you for everybody who's helped to contribute to build the channel and our channel. And uh, hopefully we can get it there to 100 and, you know, and, and push it further. So uh, yeah, anyway, so the next product here, We've got the ultimate paint box here, which is a bit more. So it's about $500. Now I dare say that's not all the paints, but you get a few of these clipping tools and everything with it as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and as I said, we're gonna go through, I'm gonna have an assembly tutorial. I'll probably do it when we do the uh, painting tutorials. Uh, we'll start them up. They'll be in parts, so keep an eye out for them. And, uh, and then here we have some of this gear here. Now there's a paint pot. Okay, so it's $13 Australian, $8 USA. It's, you know, I mean, look, it is a novelty item, all right? I think it's still a little bit overpriced, but, you know, I picked it up because it's, it's pretty cool, all right? And we'll go for that later. Uh, now, this thing's really cool. I'm gonna get one of these Citadel painting mats just to stop thing, uh, things from slipping. It's just that I uh, thought about when we're doing our painting on the channel, or something on the channel, you know, I didn't necessarily want this big Citadel logo like popping up in the background. Um, not that I really care, but it just sends the wrong message across. Like people might think that I'm like trying to pump their stuff or whatever, which I'm far from it. I mean, 40 subscribers, they wouldn't even look at me anyway. If, if it's, so um, Citadel painting handle. Okay. Now they just come out with one of these big new ones here. Uh, you could see some of my thoughts on that painting handle in the... Um, in one of the other videos, I believe it's on the Tamaya uh, spray work turntable. You check it out in the uh, in the review section of the playlist. This thing here, Citadel assembly handle. It's basically one of these painting vices, um, but with these clamps on here. Guys, I'm not even going to go there. All right, it's the absolute absolute most ridiculous thing. I actually have similar things stashed away, and. Um, you know, that I've bought from electronic shops and things like that. And uh, look, let me tell you, again, in my opinion, nothing will beat some uh, chopsticks or some glue tack on the end to prop your models up. This, These arms, they just they just get in your way and everything like that. But look, hey, if, you're, uh, if it's your thing, then it's your thing and more power to you. But I'm not looking to pick any of those up any, really any soon. As well with the Dreadnought thing, it's, you know, I just find it's... Yeah, no, nah, it's I don't need it for that. The base is big enough. Um, even this thing here, like this, this little one's probably the only one that I'd ever go with. And um, you know, but even then, I mean, I own one. I, I we spoke about it in one of the previous videos, but I never use it because it keeps chipping the bases, you know. And I've seen I've seen this thing uh, go, and it barely fits the dreadnought base, like literally barely. So it's kind of like, well, what are you doing? But, uh, but it's there, it's available, you know, and here you've got some more paint racks, so things to store your paints on. Now, these are pretty cool. I might grab a few of these because I've got, I've got these other wooden ones I got from Alibaba, but um, I just couldn't be stuffed, like, sending away from them again and, and getting them in there. But they're there, and then you've got the paint sets on it more here. And we've got a good old Space Marine Heroes. Now, you know, Space Marine Heroes, we did a review on the channel. Check out the video there. A mega unboxing. And um, you got all of them there. We, we got all of them, uh, except for this commander guy. And I'm going to try to get him. I'm going to buy another box. And we'll, uh, we'll do another unboxing. I won't make a video of it, though. I'll only make a video if we... Um, if, if, if we uh, if I successfully unbox him. And uh, remember, we are doing giveaways at the moment. So once we reach 100 subscribers, um, I'm going to be giving these away. Check out the video 
I'll um, I'll chuck it in at the end of the uh, video on the card, and you can see that you know for active subscribers and anyone who comments on that video, you could be eligible to win these these marines, and I'll send them out to you, post them out to you, and everything, and all good. And then we've got some some books, right? So the Black Library books here that are coming out soon, all right, which are awesome. Black Rot Library uh, Novella Series 1. Explore the worlds of Warhammer with each series of 10 brand new collectible paperback novels by beloved authors and new faces. Okay, and you've got a range of books here. Looks like some Custodies books. Auric Gods. Okay, War Queen. That's an Age of Sigma one. Okay, so some nice stuff here. Battle Forces. All right, so this is a thing that we've seen online. And there were these tiny little pictures. Um you know, brought up, and I might see if I can just bring these up to the camera. We're actually gonna talk a little bit about these and, and, and see what's in them. So uh, now let's just get an overview first. So the first little box set here, we have a Death Guard Infection Cluster. All right, now it's not bad value, comes with a Blight Drone and, uh, uh, sorry, a Bloat Drone and a Blight uh, Crawler. Okay, and Plague, Plague Crawler, Blight Plague Crawler, something like that. And you've got your, your Pox, not Pox Walkers, uh, Nurgle Marines here as well. Your Death Guard Marines. Okay, and it's it's quite, it looks like a, quite a decent box. I think there might even be some uh, Death Shroud Terminators in there as well, but I'll have to have a look at that. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure it's a 100% epic deal. Uh, I think it's good. I think it's good, but I don't think it's like completely awesome. Usually, usually with these boxes, it's like you get, you get like one one unit for free or like one box of something for free and you know if you can get that it's kind of like yeah yeah you're winning you know but uh i don't know it looks a bit light but the models are cool and we've got space marines primaris in addiction force okay i'm not going to read all the prices out you can you can have a look at those you should be able to read them with this awesome lens um adeptus mechanicus fist of the omnissiah the necrons dominion spearhead then we've got the craft world asarit uh, a Sariani bl blade host and Imperial Fist Supremacy Force. This is going to be cool. Now, apparently they're coming out with the new um, the new shoulder pads and everything. So the actual modeled fists, and I think this is going to be cool. And uh, so we've got six six forty k models. You got boxes. You've got uh, four Age of Sigma boxes. So you've got the Idenf Deep Skin Deep Surge. That's really cool. I don't have an army of those guys, and I wouldn't mind getting one. And then we've got the Daughters of, of Cain, which would be really cool. And uh, Sephron Starcore Strike Host, which looks cool. And Slaves Darkness Godsworn Warband. All right. So let's, uh, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to have to refocus the camera. I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to just zoom in this a little bit. And we'll just, we'll just have a look, see if we can get in just a little bit closer at these. I'm going to get a bit closer here. Yeah, a bit closer. Let's see if we can have a look at, at what's in the box. Okay. Just bear with me, guys. Let's pull it back a bit. All right. There we go. That should that should do it. Hopefully, you can see that. So, it looks like... Yeah, it looks like there's definitely some Death Shroud Terminators in there. It looks like there's four of them. And it uh, looks like there's the, um, the, the Mortar Tank, the... Blight, oh, I can't, I can't even, Blight Crawler or whatever it is, uh, which is pretty cool. And uh, and then you've got the Bloat Drone and you've got some Plague Marines as well. Just here, looks like I got the name right, awesome. I uh, keep forgetting the name. So anyway, okay, over here you've got the, um, you've got the Craft Worlds, Asari Blade Host here, right? You've got, so it looks like you've got a, a Wraith Knight in there, which is awesome. You got some of those jet bikes. Looks like some Elder Guardians, um, a Farseer, and I think it's some of those Fire Guys as well. I can't remember what they're called now. Um, and then, so Space Marine Primaris Interdiction Force. Now this is an interesting one. I'm gonna have to just take this away for a second just so I can have a look at it. So let's just, yeah, we'll just put him there for now. Cool look at him. Let's have a look. Okay, so it's got a Primaris Captain. Looks like a box of Reavers. Uh, it looks like it's got a some of those uh, in not intercessors, uh, inceptors, 
and then it looks like some intercessors as well and it's got a it's got a repulsor tank in it okay so it's got a repulsor tank in it it's not a bad deal i mean it's it's 208 or 28 dollars aud and you know 170 dollars us so it's just, it's pretty it's pretty decent you know it's uh pretty decent stuff so um yeah then you got the mechanica set you got some of the robots and um some of the infantry there for them the necron one you're always going to get good deals with the necrons which is which is pretty funny like i mean gw they always they always go through and they give you like some really good there's the mechanica set sorry about that and uh you're always going to get some good deals with the necrons it looks like that box is pre pretty pumped so it looks like you got some warriors some immortals and you got a uh necron barge a repair barge salem barge whatever they call it and um yeah which is pretty cool imperial fist box looks good uh so you get it looks like you get a redemptor dreadnought you get a, a commander of some type and um you also get some i think there are some aggressors up the back there and you've got some intercessors or plasmas there there's plasmas and intercessors there i'll just grab it yes yeah, so there's plasma on the right intercessors on the left and um I, I think that's the box that's going to sell the most. And, you know, it's it's good to see some of the lesser chapters, um, you know, getting some love. Because, um, you know, it doesn't it isn't always like that. But, uh, yeah, so let's just go. I'm just going to bring the camera out just a little bit more. All right, so. There we go. Yeah, so it's, it's good to sell. I wouldn't mind seeing some Black Templar stuff, though. That that would be pretty sick if we saw some Black Templar. Um, maybe it will come. And um, we've got the uh, Daughters of Cain here and a few of the Age of Sigma things. I'll let you have a look at those. But yeah. So now you've got the good old Black Fort Stone Fortress and uh, in its glory. And uh, there is... Is there a price on that one? Yes, there is. Jeez, that's a good deal. Wow. So US 150, Canada 180, Australia only 220 bucks. Jeez, wow, that's all right. I mean, I admit though, I saw it in the store today and uh, I was a little bit disappointed at the minis. They looked a lot smaller than what I thought, but then I thought about it. I said, well, they are to scale, um, you know, but look, I'm, I'm literally just buying this box for the, for the chaos, for the chaos Marines, the chaos Legionnaires, to be honest, I'm not really too fussed about anything else, but, um, but yeah so that's that's basically that and uh, i'll be doing an unboxing of that uh probably on uh sunday sunday as i said i got a game on on saturday some death watch gotta take my new leviathan dreadnought out for some uh dish out some punishment with the uh auto cannons and everything so it'll be the first time i've used it i'm playing death watch so i've got a few combos on there um uh, which I, I might do a post-mortem battle report and i might do a review on the leviathan dreadnought as well as a unit we are going to be doing tactical videos as well just so everyone knows um each each week i'll probably review like a unit we'll talk about some strategy behind it uh we'll look at some competitive lists as well we'll see how they're going and uh and 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 have a look at what's going on in the world the ict and things like that the night vault the night vault box set which is still around okay which is really cool some really nice sigma models in there if it's your thing all right kill team so looks like they're still going to be pumping kill team in 2019 it's a very strong brand it's really really good for uh for some shorter games i know one of the concerns has been with uh with within games workshop that you know people will come in and they want to play but there's never any tables like there's never any room for anything never any tables um and the reason is because people are coming in and they're they're playing you know all these games and uh and, and they're staying there playing phages. So with, with the kill team, it gives people the opportunity to to go in and play shorter games and, uh, you know, freeze up the table a lot so they can have more people coming in and no doubt more people buying things. Um, <laughs> but whatever, you know, so cool, I'm, I'm down with that. Um, I mean, you know, so yeah. And, uh, and that, but yes, yeah, this box set's really cool. It's again, 130 US dollars, you know, 220 AUD. Um, like, I think the value is in the terrain, to be honest. This bottom, this bottom section is actually a half of the Sector Imperialis, 
um, Realm of Battle, which I actually have here in the command center. I've got like all the Realm of Battles and they're all done up and everything. I still need to finish painting that one, but it's uh, it's not the plastic version. Uh, it's the it's the paper version, just so everyone knows. And it comes with a Mechanicus and Gene Steeler Colt, I believe. And you buy expansion packs. The good old Dark Imperium box, which is still a box of the boxes of boxes. The box sets of box sets, like the value here, $220. Literally, you buy two of these boxes, you literally have two armies, pretty much, like within reason. I mean, you might not have two awesomely competitive within the meta effective armies, all right? But you're gonna have like, you know, like I think you'd have about a thousand points or something in there, or maybe 700-ish or something in there if you had two boxes. I'll have to calculate it up, but just saying a lot of stuff here look we already know about this so i'm not gonna smash this too much the no fear box is fantastic value a hundred dollars um you've got the um first strike box i've got a few of these boxes as well and uh i don't look back on those because they actually span really well into this is how i got most of my primaris marines going on some aggressors some of which we've got right here and um some bloat drones and that and usual stuff Easy to build Lord Felthius and Tainted Cohort. So those are snap models, it's really cool. And the Dark Imperium book, which uh, explains the lore of the return of Gilliman and the um, and the Promaris and stuff. So, and then we got the, the Star Collecting boxes. Okay, so this is the standard Star Collecting boxes that have been out for a while. The GW uh, have been pumping, you know, for a while, um, you know, rocking the, the tactical Marines and everything like that. And, you know, I'm not going to go through these in uber detail here because, you know, we, we kind of know what they are. So, but just know that they are available and, you know, for like $140 AUD, $85 USA. Um, yeah, it's a pretty sweet way to expand on existing forces uh, and to, uh, to start a new one. And most of my armies... Whenever I start a new army, I mean, I've got pretty much all these armies, I think, except for demons. I do have Zin Zinch, but uh, I've got them with Thousand Suns. Um, oh, and Dark Eldar. So I've got to get a Dark Eldar one going. The rest And Orcs. The rest of them I've, I've got going on. Um, yeah, and, uh, and I started them up with the, the box sets here. Then you've got your Primarchs. Now, I'm sure there's an Abaddon missing here. There's a, you know, there's, there's going to be definitely be some more releases going on. Um, you've got your Stompers. And uh, Bane Blades. Now, I believe this little red icon means online order only. Now, if I'm correct about that, it's they're not actually selling those in the shops anymore, which I think is, you got to order them in online, which I think is a bit of a shame. Um, but as, as, as the local games workshop guy said to me, uh, you know, we can't keep everything in stock because there's just not enough shelves, you know, like we've got to, you know, we've got to sort of lighten up a little bit like that. And the good old, you know, he's not that overpowered. It's the Kistalan that's overpowered. But um, the good old Knight Valiant there, all right? Good unit. But the Kistalan just rocks. I think he's going to, I think he's going to cop a nerf though. He's going to cop a pretty big nerf in the next chapter approved. I have heard though that uh, in the next chapter approved, um, Space Marines are going to be going down in points costs in general. I think in another video I spoke about, you know, like Terminators being, you know, a little bit over costed. When I was doing the uh, the Wake the Dead box, we were talking about Terminators and just saying the Terminators are a little bit over costed. And they need to be like, uh, I think four, four to six points re reduced, I think. And then that'd be a vi viable troop choice or elite choice. And then you've got some Age of Sigma. You've got the, the new Soul Wars box, okay, which is cool. And um, the paint sets and all right, um, you got Dreadblade Harrows, you know, all that, these sort of, um, these paint, you know, boxes, paint collecting boxes, some books and all that kind of stuff, okay. Some more Age of Sigma. Lizard men, orcs as well. All right, pretty cool. The dwarves, which are, which are really fantastic. I remember when they, when they came out at the start of the year, I was kind of just like, was it the start of the year or last year? I think it was last year. And I, I saw the examples, I got like all excited. I'm like, oh man, that's awesome. The squats are coming back, the squats are coming back. And it wasn't it wasn't the squats, it was like these dwarves for like, you know, Sigma, but that's okay. That's okay. And then you have um, the new ones, the uh, the deep kin ones. All right, Lords of Nagash, you got an Archeon. All right, really cool to paint him. And uh, Necromunda. 
Necromunda, which is which is really cool. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, so that's Lord of the Rings. And I've never, I'm sorry, but I've, look, I'm sorry if you're a Lord of the Rings player. I love Lord of the Rings. I think it's fantastic. But I, I think, okay, once I've seen someone playing it in shop. That's it. But uh, I'm sure it's a very lovely game and everyone in New Zealand loves it. So that's why it's there. So anyway, uh, I heard that a rumor was that it's basically there because of some manager in New Zealand, some games workshop manager in New Zealand that, uh, that loves it and, uh, and wants to keep it there. But uh, that may or may not be correct. That's just what someone told me, right? Who, who was working in one of the shops. So, you know, as I said, might be true, might not be. All right, Necromunda under Hives, box sets, always good value. Titanicus, okay, uh, which I've heard is really good. I haven't played it yet, Blood Bowl. It's like basically, your, you know, it's your, it's your, uh, you know, if you can't afford a, uh, you know, a, a Titan or you've got more sensible places to spend your money than, you know, buying a Forge World, you know, $5,000 piece of plastic, uh, then you can go for this. It's a sort of like a lighter version of it. A um, little bit similar to the, ep the scale of the Epic 40K that used to be out a while ago uh, that we've also discussed here on the channel. Check out the others, other vids. These are the proper Plastic Realms battles. You've also got this moon base one, which is sort of the budget version, which is still pretty cool. It comes with some nice terrain. And um, then we've got the uh, Realm of Battle, the Dominion, and... Uh, ah, this is a new one. What's this? Realm of Battle Blasted Hello Heart. Yeah. I think that's a map. I have it like a, like a terrain mat, not actually a plastic engraved piece of plastic. It's actually a mat. I actually haven't seen that before, so that's that's awesome. That is awesome. I'm liking the looks of that. Anyway, so more scenery here. A lot of this stuff is is the same, same old stuff. Um, scenery, some of the scenery you can get in with the kill team boxes as well. Now this is really cool. Your painting range chart from Citadel. Now um, this is we're going to be using this. So when we start up our tutorials. And, um, you know, we'll be referring to this often and, uh, not only this one, but like I, I mix my paints. So I cross the streams. I, I use Citadel Vallejo Army Painter, Tamaya, and another brand called MIG. And, um, and I, I just basically mix those paints. I use those paints for different things. I find, uh, look, Citadel paints, look, they do have their issues a lot of the time, but they do a lot of good paints as well. And it's just a matter of finding the best paint for the application for the system, you know, is um, Citadel paints cop a lot of hate. Um, you know, I think one of the biggest problems is the consistency. That's a varied consistency, but you kind of got to water it down anyway. Um, and you know, it's, but it's another tutorial for another time. It's another talk for another time. All right. So that's that. But yeah, pay attention to that. Screenshot that. Go online. If you're going to follow me along with the painting tutorials coming up, um, you're going to, you're going to basically want one of these because I'm going to go through and when I'm looking at blending layers, I'm doing a, little, a lot of blending, a lot of lighting, a lot of shadowing um, in my models. And uh, and you're going to see how I use those techniques as well. So, yeah. And here we go, brushes. I've got my opinion on this. Uh, you know, I'm not... Yeah, when a, when a brush fishtails, when a brush fishtails or bends or gets stuffed up, Look, the truth be told, it's just gonna, it's just gonna stuff up. Um, there's, you know, and the thing is to me, I, I would rather, you know, just stuff up a $2 brush than a, like a $13 brush or, you know, I mean, look at a pack of these. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty dear. You get a whole set of those from like the junk shop. Yeah, all right, they might burn out on you like a little bit faster, but still, uh, you know, like, I'm not gonna pay that. They, a brush is a brush and it doesn't matter how good you look after it especially if you're doing detail work like edge highlighting and things like that which i do a lot of you need it sharp and there's look there's no shampoo i've got shampoo here i'll show you through that you know you can use your saliva eventually it's just it's just gonna it's just gonna lose it's gonna lose its tact so uh, more black library books there as well okay which is cool and then it looks like an order sheet of some kind so um yeah so look everybody that's the uh that's the christmas list so far for 2018 and uh, I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff in there. I know personally, I'm definitely going to be attacking some of those boxes. Um, definitely the Imperial Imperial Fist box. Definitely 100%. 
and uh, I'd consider about one of those, depending, you know, I'll have a better look at it in the shop and see if it justifies it, but I've got a lot of Primaris Marines, so many box sets of those guys, but I mean, look, you know, they, they, it does come in handy when you're doing like different, uh, you know, different, uh, different armies and things like that, and you know, most of the stuff in here I already have though. Um, obviously, I'll be getting that, and we'll be doing a review of that. And um, and yeah, so that's that's that. You know, it's pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, so uh, it's cool. So we'll just remove this from the, the table, and uh, I guess now we're gonna have a look at this. Uh, we're gonna have a look at this book. So this is kind of like a notepad. I was going through the store before. And, uh, and I saw this, and I was like, oh, gee, that's pretty cool. What's this? You know, I saw the Primaris head, and it's like, nerd bait, you know, grabbed it. And I'm like, yeah, cool. And um, it's uh, it's actually like a little notebook. So I'm going to use it for the channel for writing lists and stuff when we do list building uh, tutorial, not tutorials, you know, list building videos, you know, we work together on them. Look at this, it's really cool. Like, it's all engraved and everything. And that's kind of like a sleeve where you can where you can put it up um and i want to can i take this off without damaging it probably not so there it goes you know i probably could have taken that off but that's okay i don't want that on there anyway so uh yeah so i haven't actually opened this up what's inside jesus awesome and uh yeah look at that so you've full got the the border and everything and I mean, yeah, look, it's a, it's a notebook. I mean, you know, it's, you know, what do you, what, what can you say? You know, it's a notebook, but it's pretty freaking awesome. You know, like it's, it's really cool. You know, and you've got like a, oh, that's not part of that. you got like a little thing where you can, you know, sort of like strap it up and you've got a little bookmark thing here where you can keep your page. And I just thought it'd be awesome, you know, write up some lists, theorize, do some strategy. You know, do up some lists and uh, especially or or if you're out playing a game and you want to record your uh, record your straight uh, command points and stuff, you know, you can just make your lists in here and, you know, and, and it's pretty awesome. I'm probably going to use it for a little bit of work too. So, uh, yeah, that's really cool. I was really impressed with that. Nice little gimmick. Uh, I didn't see that advertise anywhere. I, didn't, I haven't seen anyone do a review on this yet or sh show it around YouTube. So... You know, I thought I'd just, uh, I'd just, you know, chuck it up online and, uh, you know, show you guys. So, yeah. There were other ones too. I, I, I can't remember exactly what was there, but I think there was, from memory, there was a Death Guard one and uh, from memory there was an Orc one. But there were, there were definitely other books. There were other flavors of books over there. So, uh, if anyone knows, chuck a comment in the comments below and uh, we'll move on from that one there. So, okay. Now, we've got the good old citadel the new water cup the new paint holder let me get some focus on this one all right so yeah so it's pretty cool it's just a piece of plastic it's a plastic cup um the really cool thing is is that the old paint holder which i should have around here somewhere probably should have got this out before but i just didn't think about it because um, I wasn't actually going to do this video like I was, I was just going to because I already put one up this week and I was like well you know I mean to me it's like the more content content the merrier but I don't want to like you know bash it too much and uh, and just start you know spamming out content uh, you know if you think I'm doing too much or you want to see more or whatever let me know okay or you want to see more of a certain type of content uh, let me know so uh, yeah so what it is look it holds water, okay? It's a paint cup, it holds water. But there are a few little gimmicks to this which are pretty awesome. I'm just gonna grab myself a brush over here, just any brush. This is like a very cheap brush, um, you know, that I use for various things and we'll get into this uh, for later. And uh, just so that you know, look, I'm not a, I'm not a noob. I, I have all Citadel brushes as well, okay? I use, I use many, many brushes and there's many more than that. Uh, it's just that I find that Citadel brushes are only good for certain things, okay? So, um, so the first thing is, you know, I'm not going to fill this up with water, okay? But you obviously can fill up with water. You give it like a little bit of a stroke here. But you can see it's inside, it's actually ribbed, right? So if you have paint on it, you can just like glide the brush up 
and it will actually help you to wash the paint off all right the brush when you're when you're basically going through and doing that so let me see if i can just hold that up to the camera you could sort of like you know do that and down here as well um you can do that too so you can wipe the the crap off your brush which is really which is really fantastic now the last feature of this little cup if i get like more of a uh higher precision brush okay something like this guy all right again this is a uh, cheap brush it's like needle thin as well uh you know from a junk shop you know and I've, I've actually used this a few times. You can see that I've, you know, actually used it a few times. And uh, I have quite good success with these brushes. So that's just me though. Um, you know, to me, it's basically just like, you know, if you know what you're doing, it kind of doesn't matter. Like you could do the job anyway. Like a good tradesman will be able to build a, a staircase with a, you know, with a decent, drill or an epic drill he'll still be able to get the job done um and in more ways you know some of the cheaper stuff can be better you know especially when you're doing fun but uh so look this is what i want to show you so often when i paint and i'm not going to tell you i'm not going to tell you to do this um you probably already do it but uh some people often when some people paint they put it in their mouth and they curl the brush against their lips with saliva just to get a really good tip on it now, again, disclaimer, I'm not telling you to do this. I'm just saying some people do do it, okay? And um, and that kind of helps to keep the bristle, I'll do it right now, the, the, the bristles are uh, in good condition. Uh, it's the saliva helps to bind them together. But with this, I haven't actually tried this out yet, so it's gonna be interesting to see what you can actually do. I c you can actually get it and move it along the side, right? And kind of twist it in here and it does look like it works. It helps you to bind the um, bind the brush together and, and get it going, which is which is pretty cool. Keep it keep it keep it sharp, you know. Keep it fair. So yeah, so that's it. That's just the paint the paint um, pot, the water pot, which is pretty awesome. Next thing you know, you know they'll be selling Games Workshop water. Uh, there's a video on that. I think that Duncan guy made a made a joke of it you know but uh, i wonder how long it's going to take for that to become reality all right cool so here we have our aggressive brothers they're ultramarine and um i'm just going to give you a quick look at them and uh now this is just this is just tabletop standard kind of stuff here there's nothing crazy going on um but yeah these are some ultramarines and hopefully we can see them well in the video but there's some aggressors so i'm just going to spin them around on my little turntable here you can have a cool little look at these guys. Um, just so you know, I've actually found a much better version of this turntable. It's actually a self-powered battery-driven turntable um, that uh, I picked up, and I will, I will send you a, I will do a bit of a review on that, and it should be pretty awesome. So right now I'm just doing this with my hands, so it's a little bit ghetto, everybody, but that's okay. And uh, and that, so yeah, these are these are my my aggressors. And uh, I use a variety of techniques uh, to get them done, which uh, I'm going to be showing everybody on the channel. And I should probably just frame this shot a little bit better, shouldn't I? All right, so so that's them there, and yeah, I do um, you know, have 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 many others as well, and I have a few armies, a few armies going on. Uh, but I just thought I'd crack these guys out and just you know just test to see how they looked on camera. And everything so it'll be interesting to see and i uh, hope you like them and uh it's really cool so they've been varnished as well so uh with one of my special sources there to give them that shiny metallic look and also edge highlighting as well all right and based as well and you can see the basing i've got some pretty cool basing going on and one thing i one thing i like to do with my uh with my aggressors is i like to uh well any any unit actually that's big any terminator units or anything like that um, I like to actually just prop them up a little bit on the, uh, on some like rocks and stuff, just to basically just have them look a little bit more menacing, a little bit more sort of aggressive. So I'll just spin these guys around again as well, so. Really cool. And once again, I'm off.
So yeah. And I'll just try to turn on the autofocus as well. It's right now I'm on manual focus and check that out. So I've also I've also got a um I've also got a battle box. Not but a battle box, a lighting box for photography, which I'm gonna plug in and I'm gonna have a look at uh at doing up. So we're gonna do some miniature photography and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so yeah, there they are. You see, I've, I've also edge highlighted the gold as well. There's like three layers of gold. Um, if you look very closely, I have layers on the blue. That's one thing I'm going to be teaching you on the channel. It's, it's not just about getting the undercoat, putting it on. you got to layer it up. If you can see that I've got shadows and contrasts between areas on the, um, on the unit itself. Okay, it's not just one. Not just one, one color, not one shade, but uh, yeah. All right, everybody. Look, so I might wrap it up there for today. And I uh, hope you've all had a good one and found this video, you know, of some use. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel. Click the little bell notification. It really helps us when you do that. We're at 40, 40 subscribers so far, everybody. It's amazing. We've only been running for like two weeks. And, um, you know, stay tuned for the painting tutorials. We're going to be doing assembly tutorials. We're going to be doing the... Um, the uh, the uh, Black Legion and the uh, the Alpha Legion, and we're also going to paint up the uh, the the Space Marine heroes as well, and um, and also check out the dice rolling app, and check out our Space Marine heroes competition, because we're running that in another video. I'm going to put it in a link at the end of this video on a card, and you can actually win some Space Marine heroes if you like and subscribe to the channel. All right, everybody, Brother Stephen here, and I'll catch you all later. You have a great one.